Uh, watch this, bitches. What'd you watch? I got a good watch this, bitches, this week. What'd you watch? I watched Bohemian Rhapsody with my well, how, 11-year-old son. How is Rami Malek? He, well, first of all, this movie was $10 to buy on Xbox for some reason. Oh, it was? I didn't see that. I would have done that. I don't know why. I went to rent it. I was like, I could rent it for $6 or buy it for 10 And Anyway, and you get some extra foot, extra goodies, too, with it. So I thought, you know, the movie's very entertaining. And, it, you know, obviously Rami Malek looks and sounds like Freddie Mercury. And... Have you seen that weird interview he did with his favorite <laughs> things? Yeah. It was awkward. I think he. You think he was trying to be it's, awkward. It's not an interview. Or it's an ad. Yeah. What was it no. an ad for? It's an ad for a hotel chain. Oh, the, chain? I'm a fan of uh, Psycho. The their Bates logo Motel. is like a um, Japanese style fan. Uh, oh. and that's why he was doing the I'm a fan of. Like it's like an ad oh. campaign for them. I'm I'm a fan of everything in Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> anyway, so it's very interesting to see how they take Freddie. You know, it's mostly about Freddie Mercury. You know, obviously they have the rest of the band, and the band play a big part in the movie. But Freddie's the you know the the crazy guy for the most part, um, with his crazy outfits and fucking everything in sight. Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Oh, that's a good one. That's a fancy one. He's a fan. Yeah. Who isn't a fan of that? Those are nice. Um, <laughs> so there's like, you know, they can't show him like banging everything, which is apparently what his life was like. So it's all like just you have to infer from what's happening. Like, oh, Freddie sees a, a man walk into the restroom and Freddie sort of they make eye contact and you have to just assume that Freddie follows him in there. Or, you know, like, and that's just throughout the movie that's happening. And then he's like dreaming about guys in like leather outfits and stuff. Um, but I don't know. We enjoyed it. Everybody enjoyed it. Music was great. It was weird. I don't understand why. I read that they, they didn't just use Freddie Mercury's voice in the movie, they combined his voice and. Rami Malek's voice, and then some other guy who's like a Queen cover band guy's voice. Why can't they just use the... <laughs> isn't there enough audio of Freddie Mercury? Well, there may, it may not be the right quality to match the quality of the rest of the soundtrack. So it may it may have sounded hollow. Oh, so they may have needed to like layer it to, to give it you know, right. depth. I see. I'm not an audio engineer. I just put together this garbage. Neither am I, but I could have figured that out on my own. When you get to the end of the show, you'll really understand how I'm not an audio (laughs) engineer. Yeah. Um, But yeah, we enjoyed it. And, you know, Ty seemed to, uh, it's like, I know what bisexual is, dad. (laughs) But yeah, that's good. And then it wasn't depressing, in case you're wondering. Good. Uh, no, we want to see it. It just hasn't, you know, right. whatever. I didn't cry. Some people always ask if I cried. I did not cry, which is good. That is good. But it was sad. Um, what else we got here? And watch this, bitches. Oh, here's a, a comment from at schmore 0317 How does Wombat feel about Arrow ending after season eight? I mean, it's probably time. <laughs> it's probably past time. So I'm actually interested to see how they do next season because, you know, they have a habit of stretching things out and when they're limiting it to 10 episodes. Could be good. And yeah, I was going to say, and I think maybe two of those are going to be part of the crossover event. So it's really eight episodes. It's and they really can kill off Oliver. I think that's, I think that's how it ends, right? That's. I'm assuming they've already killed off Felicity. So No, she's still alive. Oh. She's still around, and she's in the future, which we know. Oh, that's so, good. So you don't have to like be around yeah. her. I have to worry about running into her. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be weird. Yeah, I assume they'll just kill him off. I wonder with Arrow ending and Gotham ending on Fox, if that's will give them the ability to bring 
like a Batman show? Isn't that really all anyone wants? Is Batman back on TV? Nah. Aren't they just going to do it on their DC Universe service? You think they'll do Batman on that? Why wouldn't they? I don't know. I guess that's one way to get a lot of people to pay for it. You got. You need content. I mean, just, just a Batman TV show. There isn't a Batman TV show. I know, but how would that? They, they make movies about Batman. They don't make the TV shows. But they make. They could do both. Sure, dude. To get you got to get the subscriptions. Yeah, do both. Have a Batman TV show and a Batman movie. Who cares? It could be a different one. Unrelated. Yeah, unrelated. Like, you know, year one Batman or something, some shit like that. No, it doesn't even have to be that. Just one is Batman on TV and one is Batman movies. Year two Batman? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Hmm. Um, I don't know if I like this plan. I think, look, I mean, it's it's not like Netflix where they're just going to get content from other places. They have to make their own content. I know, and, and right now they do not have enough. But the content they've put out is good. The content they have put out is good. I feel Titans very confident. Titans and Doom Patrol are good. If you want to ask this next question that leads into it, go for oh, it. Oh, sure. Mig, Migo Zero says, if I can only start one, which out-of-control teen superhero drama should I? Should the wife and I watch The Umbrella Academy or Titans? Well, if you don't have the DC Universe app and only have... Netflix, then I would say the Umbrella Academy. That's not teen. There's no teens in that. Of course there are teens. There's teens in that. Well, they flash back to te- like teens. but it's, And number five. Uh, but it's not the same thing. I'm just saying. Runaways is a better one. That's a real teen superhero. I one. like the Umbrella Academy a lot more than Runaways. No, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I would say, but I would say Titans for sure. Titans is pretty good. Titans is Titans is sillier than the Umbrella Academy. Yeah, I haven't. I'm only three episodes into uh, Umbrella Academy. Okay, I, Umbrella Academy a, takes itself a little more seriously. Uh huh. So it really depends on what kind of mood you're in. Except for the design Titan- of the the big guy. They don't, yeah, they don't take himself seriously when it comes. No, to they that. do not. He's he's <laughs> well. There's a reason why he looks the way he does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'll get to that. Okay, looking forward to it. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Sure. Watch, finish it. It's not. It's, I, it's only ten episodes. I, you know, I got to get Mrs. Bu- Chibi's approval. Too busy watching. I'm a fan of movies. <laughs> no. Um, I'm a fan of Titans. Oh, Shanna fan wrote in at last minute. It's a last minute addition to the outline uh, that the DC universe is dead. The Good DC Extended Universe. Good for them. If you, you know, Whatever. Are you upset? No. They needed to make an announcement about that? <laughs> Does that mean there's not going to be any more uh, like uh, Justice League movies? I think that's what they're saying. Right. Yeah. Or if they make a Justice League movie, it'll just be its own thing. But it wasn't that already the case? Well, I don't know. Who cares? 